everyone. Uh, my name is Tim Muta. I'm the director of student ministries uh, at Grandview Church. Um, and it's a privilege to uh, continue serving uh, before all of this COVID um, and everything has happened and, and to continue serving in the midst of this. Um, I, Eric, Rachel asked me, what has God um, been teaching me? Um, I think God's teaching me things, but he's not done with me. Um, and I'm learning things, but I can't say that I've uh, fully grasped what he is, is beginning to teach me through this, um, through this season of life. Um, but one thing I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of learning is what it means to slow down, um, to rest, um, and to listen to God. Um, so often uh, we get, um, especially I, um, I get caught up in, in what's going on in life. Um, you know, whether it be uh, church ministry and all the programs on, on Tuesdays and Thursday nights and um, young adults and, and student leadership meetings and staff meetings. Um, and I can, I can be so busy um, letting those things in my life control what I do and even control the way I do ministry. Um, in my personal life, um, I have a large family, and so there's often family gatherings, um, there's time with friends, um, there's, there's things to do at home, um, and, and I can get so busy and I can let that control the way I, I live, the way I love, um, the way I, I serve others. And this time that we've been able to take to really just pause and, and slow down. Um, I've been really um, just learning what it means um, to take that time before God, um, to take time to slow down and to say, God, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to serve? I can't let programming dictate the way I do life anymore because that's been all ripped out from under me. But now I have the chance to say, okay, God, what how would you have this ministry proceed? How would you have me love my neighbors? How would you have me love my family, love my, my wife? And I've been really just understanding what it means to rest before God. Psalm 62 um, says this, and it's really just um, been something I've been thinking about a lot. It says this, For God alone my soul waits in silence. The wind has blown my pages. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and salvation, my fortress. I shall not be greatly shaken. For God alone, my soul waits in silence. And I can't say that in the past couple years, there's been many times where my soul has waited for God in silence. There's been a lot of noise. There's been a lot of things going on in my life. But now I have the chance to say, God, what do you have for me? What do you have for me to do today? What do you have, who do you have for me to love, to pray with, to care for? And I've been I'm just enjoying um, this different season of life um, and just taking time to slow down, knowing that, God, you hold my salvation. That's what's important in life. No matter what happens in, this, in these next couple of weeks and, and months, God alone, you are my rock and my salvation. So, Lord, I wait for you. Um, so I, I still have lots to learn on what that fully means. I have lots to learn on what that means when life is going to get busy. Uh, we don't know when that'll be again. It could be months. It could be a year. But I really want to take this time now to say, okay, God, what does it look like for me to reinsert myself back into what we're going to call normal life and to still take that time to be silent, to wait for you, and um, to teach me, to show me, um, and to lead me in your will, in your way. And that's uh, just something I'm, I'm wrestling through. Um, I'm excited to continue on with, with student ministry. Uh, we are still meeting on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Junior high meets on Tuesday nights. Senior high meets on, on Thursday nights. High school does. Um, and we're meeting through Zoom, and we're still figuring that out. Um, it's not all um, crystal clear and, and easy, um, but we're enjoying connecting with the students, and we've seen students um, still being able to open up and be vulnerable in their small groups as we break out into small groups on Zoom. Um, and so that's been something that's really been helpful. Uh, We've also realized that students have extra time. Um, and so what we've done with uh, a couple of our high school students is, is we've actually started um, an additional Bible study. Um, I do a Bible study with some guys on, on t Monday afternoons. Um, and there's a Bible study with the girls um, on, on Tuesday afternoons. So we're just taking a book of the Bible and saying, guys, let's, let's plant ourselves into God's word and let's see what God would teach us. And uh, I'm excited for what fruit can come out of that um, as we just take a, a couple students 
and say, hey, let's let's go deeper into the scriptures together. Um, so we're not stopping, um, but we're trying to use the time that God's given to us um, to continue to grow and to continue to hopefully thrive um, in the midst um, of this of this situation that we're in. Uh, we're, we're still trying to care for our families and our students. Uh, many of them are going through various, various different things, um, emotionally, um, physically. Um, students are, are thinking about grad and, and that's not going to be happening or, or prom the same way that they had hoped it to be um, or even getting into college or transferring into high school. Um, and so there's a lot of care that we're just we're trying to support our students with. So you can be praying for us in that um, and knowing how we can tangibly reach out to our students, even though it's across technology. Um, and we're just continued. Uh, we're, we're excited to continue uh, what God has started here at Grandview among our students. So uh, thank you for supporting us and uh, we love you and we hope you have a great day.